Hi, I'm Cheryl, the head gardener at White Flower Farm. Welcome to the latest addition to our display gardens here at the nursery, the Native Garden. The cast of characters for this new garden is selected from the pool of plants that are native to our Connecticut region. The purpose of this garden is to provide a safe and bountiful haven for our local birds, bees, butterflies, and insects. My planning for this garden began last fall. The first step in my design process was lots of research. I came up with a list of native shrubs, perennials, and grasses that I thought might work in my space. And using the maps in the plant database on the USDA website, I was able to determine if my chosen plants were native to Connecticut. After paring down my initial plant idea list, a final list began to take shape. Working my way down that list, more research allowed me to fill in the specifics about each plant, such as its light requirements, mature height and width, flower color and bloom time, and most importantly, what role that plant played in sustaining wildlife. I also made note if the plant had an aesthetic attribute like showy fruit or outstanding fall color. Not only did I want the garden to be useful for wildlife, I also wanted to create a pretty garden. After collecting all the necessary details about each plant, I started to put the pieces of the garden together. I began with the shrub pieces to my puzzle, which created the structural bones of the garden, which could then be fleshed out with perennials and grasses. The first plants went into the ground in early May with a few more subsequent waves of planting as the rest of the plants showed up and reported for duty. Much to my surprise, my paper garden plan translated pretty well to the earth as I only had to make a few minor adjustments and spacing as I laid out the plants. It doesn't always go that smoothly. I'm pleased with the progress of the new garden this first season. The plants for the most part have settled in and started to flourish. I've begun to make a few notes and a to-do list that I think will improve the garden going forth. It seems I have a little too much verbena hastata and I need to replace some Eupatorium perfoliatum that never did quite establish. I still want to find some Coreopsis verticillata. The straight species is hard to source. In the meantime, Monarda punctata, a last minute addition to the cast, fills in for the Coreopsis and the bees couldn't be happier. Why are native plants important? Wildlife and plants that share native habitats have co-evolved over time. Native plants provide food and shelter for your resident birds and insect populations. Consider creating your own native garden or popping in a few native plants into your existing garden. Your winged and feathered friends will be most grateful.